Everybody's parked up for the holidays. They're not going nowhere. The loads are bad. Everybody's parked, huddled up safely. Oh yeah, just figure I'll walk by over here and it's a truck over there too. Oh yeah. Yeah, man, we are recording with the iPad because my phone is dead. Um, but yeah, man, as you can see, those trucks, man, those guys are parked up for the holidays and whatnot. But um, real quick, man, I just want to come on here, man, before I begin my travels with this bad weather and whatnot. We're flying to Charlotte for Christmas, so um. What do I see trucking in 2023? Hmm. That's a good one right there. I mean, shit, man. Um, I think trucking will be a, a whole different landscape in 2023, man. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of more on operators getting out the game due to inflation and renewals and... I don't know. I think it's just like a it's just like a shift in power. I think the power is going to go back more to the mega carriers, like it's been doing the last or the latter part of 2022. I think you're going to see a lot of people go back to being company drivers, but in return, company salaries are going to sh straight up to the top like they've been doing. And I think the whole pipe dream of having you know multiple trucks will be no more. I think you're going to see more people get into the trailer rental, flatbed, reefer uh, van rental more so in buying multiple trucks. You're going to see owner operators who drive their own truck, but also rent out two, three other trailers to two, three other owner operators that is going to work for them, but they're going to have their own authority, if you get what I'm saying. I think trucking in 23 is going to be a lot more different than we've ever seen Um because the way the rates are right now, even on a good week, they're still terrible compared to what they should be at for the mileage you're running. Um, I don't know, man. I think we're going to have some more casualties in trucking. And, you know, the thing going on in California and uh, Connecticut just passing the highway tax, the same shit they got out there in New Mexico and Oregon where you deliver loads there. They want You got to pay a tax now on the highway. And... I think it's going to be a lot of people that's not going to go to the Northeast. I mean, people already don't go to the Northeast because of Jersey and New York and the boroughs or whatnot. But now that Connecticut is adding this highway tax for truckers, it's just ridiculous, man. Like, we're bringing y'all y'all goods. Why are you trying to take more money out of the trucker's pocket? It's like the feds find any and every way to take money out of the trucker's pockets because there's a back lining or back door direct tie-in to these mega carriers. So with these politicians... They vote on these rules and laws to make it harder for owner ops to even function as entrepreneurs to where the mega carriers with billions of dollars and thousands of trucks are going to benefit for it because they profit the margin can be so much less than the owner operator. And I think you're going to see a lot more of those highway taxes being implemented in multiple states. You know, if it happens in Texas and Florida, man, oh, oh boy, um, but I see trucking just in 23 going to be an, another long uphill battle as far as you're going to have to grind it out, bro. You're going to have to grind it out. You're going to get what you put in. And how it was sweet in 2020, bro, it ain't going to be like that ever again, man. That pandemic uh, rates and, and, and everybody getting the trucking in their CL, um, I don't see that happening you know, as more abundant as it was back then. But now, I mean, it's just, it's real now, man. It's really real, you know. And, you know, if you ain't built for it or you ain't 
save no money up. You're going to take hits and you're going to feel bumps in the road, man, because you go down for maintenance, man. You out the game, bro. Um, don't have don't have an in-frame in the middle of the year. You know, I see trucking changing in 23 to the point where a lot of people are going to transition out of trucking before they go broke to where they're going to open up other lanes of entrepreneurship and hustling as far as real estate or stores or whatever. Like, trucking is not going to be the go-to thing. You know, one thing about trucking, you're going to always have a job if you got a CDL. But, you know, the whole owner-op thing, man, they, they make it real hard for you to run your own company, man. They're making it really hard. And, you know, and these companies out here, these OTR companies, they're not, they steady trying to feed three to five weeks out. Yada, yada, yada. Nah, man, listen, man. I think personally, everybody just needs to go to regional and life would be so much easier. You know, you guys figure out a way to pay the guy the percentage instead of about a mile. You know, people won't have to run as hard to chase miles or whatnot, but man i don't i don't see it ever going back to normal no time soon man you know it's christmas a lot of people broke right now drivers are going to these warehouses to pick up loads but they can't feel the load because they ain't, the supply chain is so slowed up to the point where you know we don't got bags at the plant i, I contract with for portland cement to have bags to even bag up the product so they got the product but they ain't got the bags so that's been an ongoing issue with them, you know, and they're saying they're not going to have bags after New Year. So what about the people that work next week? Y'all screwed. Um, I don't know, man. The supply chain issue got to change all these, this price gouging that people are doing, the owner operators, these state highway taxes now for the state to make up extra money. They're just raping the, the driver. These insurance renewals, these mechanics are taking advantage of drivers, charging people you know, insane amount of money for, for repairs, you know, it's it's the stupidest thing, bro. But, you know, if you're getting in a truck in the 23, don't buy your truck, bro, if you don't have to. Go work a company or go work local, man. Make your bones that way to this shit level off. Again, company drivers are winning right now. Owner operators are having a hard time. So, but yeah, man, that's all I want to say, man. I just want to come get my outlook on 2023 uh, for trucking. And, uh, you know, I check in with y'all, you know, tomorrow when we headed to our journey. So y'all be safe. Good night. And I'll see y'all on the next one.